this feelers. Caddis is the raddest. Has skills of the baddest. Magic. Swinging buzzy guns. Full status. Practically unmatched. Runs all of the gamut. In fact, he's a reference guy. Games and chatting. Bet wizardly hatting. Questing, snacking, napping. This. Cat diver, banter, seeking kitty answers, roll 20 to scamper, tune in, and enjoy the ride. Brady, the RPG cat. Brady, the RPG cat. Brainy, Brainy the cat. Brainy the RPG cat. It's a kitty cat. Microphone was off. Hello, cats and kittens, felines and felidae, humans and variant humans, and every race, class, and subclass. Welcome to another episode of Bringing the RPG Cat. So, Sundays on this channel are usually reserved for a popular trading card game. But once every six weeks or so, we get the opportunity to cut loose and play a title that maybe very few people have ever played before. And that's precisely what we're doing tonight. Tonight is Wild Card Night, and we are playing a video game facsimile to one of my uh, all-time favorite uh, deck-building games. We are playing Paul Peterson's Smash Up. Now, I have actually played this before in card form, but I think I would like to start by doing the Learn to Play, just so I can learn the computer mechanics as well. Uh, in just a moment, you know, we'll, we'll do some local games, maybe we'll play some online games, you know, just depends on how I feel, it depends on what kind of edge that I can get by uh, smashing two unrelated um, cliches uh, characters together. Alrighty folks, thank you once again for tuning in to tonight's stream. Um, as usual, um, we do have some sponsorships to talk about. This stream is brought to you by Dubby Energy Drink. Uh, try Dubby, the affordable and flavorful energy drink powder. Follow the link below or go to w.gg and use the code Brainy sent me for 10% off of your online order. This is stream is also brought to you by Street Blues. Um, subscribe to the channel and buy some special trading cards at streamless.com slash Brainy the RPG Cat. $1.99 will buy you three uh, Brainy the RPG Cat trading cards. Um, redeem them for special effects and in and in stream games, games that we play during the stream. And, um, oh, Devin just got in. He says, good day, good day. Devin is turning into an Australian. And, uh... So, uh, also $4.99 subscription through Stream Loots um, will allow you to uh, use emoticons in the chat. So, 100% um, of the proceeds we get from Stream Loots benefits the channel. So, and since we are streaming on multiple channels, um, it is it's helpful in order to have something that will give us 100% of the funding so that we'll be able to bring you the show anywhere that you want to see it. And um, also, um, we're going actually streaming on a new channel this week. We are now streaming on Facebook. So, you know, I've got a few extra ch um, channel spaces to use. But um, 
I am also currently streaming on Facebook. That's in addition to the streams on YouTube, Live Space, and Twitch. So, welcome everybody in who's come in from YouTube. I assure you that we're going to do some newer and more exciting stuff in the coming weeks, especially my very lengthy playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. So, thank you everybody for tuning in. Let's go ahead and let's crack open uh, the cellophane on this new wildcard night. Let's play Paul Peterson Smash Up. Alright, so once again, starting with a tutorial. Learn to play. Welcome to Smash Up. Press the proceed button on the right to get started. Your goal is nothing short of total global domination. Oh, I, I think I meant to say domination. All right. The aim of the game: use your minions to crush enemy bases. The first player to score 15 victory points wins. Victory points are shown on your player's card to the top left. Each player picks two factions. Order of play is luck of the draw, but this time your opponent goes first. All right. Your opponent picked zombies. They're coming to get you. Notice the factions are also shown in the player cards on the top left. All right. Now it's my turn to pick some factions. Pick aliens. Well, that's just for the sake of the tutorial. Once everyone has picked their first faction, players pick their second faction in reverse order. So this time you pick first. All right. And so they want me to pick dinosaurs. Aliens and dinosaurs on my side of the field. And they're going to choose zombies and dinosaurs. Alright. This is a minging card. Minging cards are used to break bases. The number on the top of the card is the minion's attack power. Most minions have abilities detailed in the card's description. Abilities can change the flow of the game, so try to plan your turn in advance. Action cards. During your play, you can also play an action card. Action cards allow you to modify play. Base cards show the victory points that players receive in first, second, and third place. Um, they also have abilities that can affect play. Press on a base card to view the base details. And then the accumulated attack power on a base reaches the ch uh, break point, then the base will score. We'll come back to scoring later after you've played a little bit of Smash Up. Now we'll draw some base cards. We draw one base per player, plus one. That makes three. All right. Remember those two factions you chose? Well, each faction is a deck of 25. These are shuffled into a single deck of 40 cards. Five of them are drawn into your hand. All right. Take a look at your cards. We'll get to play these soon. First, your opponent must uh, draw their cards. I've got a three, a five. Um, invaders allow you to gain one victory point. Supreme Overlord returns a minion to its owner's hand. Beam Up returns a minion to its owner's hand. Howl, each of your minions gains plus one power until the end of your turn. And um, Howl, each of your minions gains one power until the end of your turn. I didn't know that they made a video game version of this. That's cool. So, good evening, good evening, Joe Kazuski. I am assuming that you have just joined us on Facebook. This is a new feature that we're having, just one more channel that we are adding to our multiple restreams. So thank you very much for tuning in. Okay, so your opponent was the first to pick a faction, so it's going to be the first to play a card. Howl, each of your minions gains plus one power until the end of your turn. Look at the card your opponent just played. The War Raptor has a power up to. All right. However, read the card description. It has an ongoing ability that increases its power, so this card has an effective power of three. The total power of each base is shown next to the base card. The breakpoint of Ninja Dojo is 18, and this is also next to the base card. We'll see what happens when the total power reaches this uh, breakpoint later. So. Oh. You didn't know that they made a video game of this. Alright. Hey, Game Night Zero Zero. Welcome to the stream on Twitch. How are you guys? How are you doing tonight? Alright. Now your opponent has decided not to play any other current cards, so the turn is over. Each player must draw two additional cards from their deck at the end of each turn. Alright. 
Take a look at the M and A uh, be, uh, icons below. These tell you what you can do next. Each turn you can play a minion and an action. Let's play your invader minion from your hand below. Select a card. It will... Uh, I don't have control over this uh, scrolling. Um, it'll go to the launch area. Here you can cancel it. Um, so select a target or press the play button if no target is required. Alright. Drag and drop is not possible. Okay. So, place the invader on the ninja dojo, which is this one. Um, select the card once it's in the launch area, target the bottom base. Okay. Clicking it. Oh, well, maybe I need to do this first. Okay. Can't drag and drop cards. That's what they're saying. Select the card, and once it's at the launch area, target the bottom base. All right, there we are. Even though we can still play an action, we don't have to, so select end turn. All right. So now there's a two T-Rexes, one who has shoulder guns, and they're all on the Ninja Dojo. Okay. Looking at the scroll here. Mike Bot played action card upgrade onto Minion King Rex on the Ninja Dojo. Your opponent just played an upgrade action onto a Minion. Notice how the power on Ninja Dojo is getting closer to the breaking point. So total amount of points um, on the base is going, uh, you know, once that reaches 18, the total number of cards are going to be added to our score. All right. We have two minions that can break Ninja Dojo, both Supreme Overlords. Play this minion onto Ninja Dojo so we can break it. That's the Supreme Overlord card. All right. Our Supreme Overlord allows us to return a minion on Ninja Dojo to its owner's hand. Um, however, doing so will reduce the minion power down below the breaking point. The base will only break if its power extends the break point at the end of your turn. So, end your turn now um, to break the base. Okay. So, ending the turn. The three numbers indicate the points to be awarded from this base. The number with the highest minion power gets the first place number on the left. Second place gets three. And the third player on this base would get two. If there were a third player. Alright. Each one gets, uh... Alright. So I would be the runner-up in this situation, so I would get the second one. And I also got an achievement. It was um, for all about that base, scoring my first base. Alright. Take a look at the ability on the Ninja Dojo base card. Um, it allows the winner on the base, your opponent, to destroy a minion. If your opponent decides not to do that, we'll carry on, but it's more likely that they're going to. Now all the cards in the score base are moved onto their owner's discard piles. Look at anyone's discard pile by selecting their player card on the top left. Finally, discard it with the score base and replace it with another. Once the base scored, it's the end of your turn, so place continues with you drawing two cards. Okay. Gravedigger going onto the base jungle oasis. Gravedigger allows your opponent to return a minion from their discard into their hand. Which, you know, like a zombie do. Gravedigger allows... You, yeah, so, um... Now your opponent can play another minion from their discard pile onto a base, which is going to be the T-Rex again. War Raptor. I, I keep calling it a T-Rex, but it's a War Raptor. The other one with the guns, that's the T-Rex. Your opponent's Day Keep Coming card has not been used, so it has moved to their discard pile. Play this action to beam up your opponent's Gravedigger from Jungle Oasis. Allows me to return a minion to its owner's hand.
Pick him up. Return the card to discard. I just bring it onto the top base, the home world. Um, oh, well, they want the Supreme Overlord to go in the home world. Alright. Then return the War Raptor to my opponent's hand. When we played the home world, it gave us the ability to play another minion. However, it needs a minion of power two or less, and we don't have any, so end turn. Okay, so this is getting pretty straightforward at this point. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit quit and we're gonna start doing local play. Alright. <clears throat> play one local game of Paul Peterson special. Don't you know that this game is loco? Players won, AI opponents won, AI difficulty medium. Pick AI factions, uh, press C button for smart, faction select, user selection. Faction select duplicates are allowed. That's just setting the, um, the rules of engagement here. Okay, Tommy Bot is going to start with Kitty Cats. I think, um, well, of course, you know, anytime Wizards is a selection on this channel, I decide to go for it. So, there we are. Second faction. Um, aliens, dinosaurs, geeks, ninjas, pirates, robots, tricksters, um, and zombies. Um, I think I would like to try aliens. Alright, the wizards and aliens deck. Okay, they're going to choose kitty cats and princesses. I'm going to feel really bad about wailing on my opponent. Muffin is going on the tar pits. All right, so what do we have? Um, collectors can return minions of power three or less, which I don't have. Um, neophyte, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an action, you can place it in your hand. Um, otherwise, return to the bottom of your deck. And then I am, I think I'm gonna play this one. Um, Scout, after the base is scored, you can place this minion into your hand instead of this card pile. Or a sacrifice, choose one of your minions, draw cards equal to its power, and then destroy it. Um, so, let's let's do Neophyte. Let's play it onto... Uh, let's play it onto the Mothership. It'll allow me to look at the top card. Um, since if it's an action, but it's not an action, so it's going back into my deck. And then decide if I'm going to sacrifice this creature and then draw cards equal to its powers, which I think I will. So, okay, so long, Neophyte. He died for nothing. And now all of my cards are alien cards. Alright. So now they're playing a second one. They they're mostly have this base um, covered. Um, unfortunately, yeah, none of the cards that I have... Um are enough to uh, destroy the cards that are over there. So, time to start um, tr uh, working towards another field here. Um, invaders cost three, and then put them on the on the group here. That's, that puts the total number of victory points out to 12 out of 16. Um, then I will do probe. Choose a card from my opponent's hand. If it has a minion in it, then discard the minion. Alright. Um, Mr. Grumper, choose a minion. It has minus two power until the end of the turn. Okay, well, off you go. Alright. Draw two more cards from my hand. My opponent is using True Love's First Kiss on the minion of Vader based tar pits. Which uh, forces me to move that make into another base. All right. So I'm definitely losing ground here. If they can play up to stage 16, then they're just going to win that base outright. Okay. So we're gonna need something good. A jam signal allows you to play on a base. And um, all uh, for ongoing, the players ignore the basis ability. I think I'm going to play that one. All right. Um, hang on. Mm -hmm. 
Um, let me, let me play, uh, minion first. Um... After the basis guard, you can place this minion into your hand instead of this card. Okay, well, this is worth doing. They're gonna conquer the base anyway. I am at least going to be able to retrieve my characters from it. And then I will... Well, let me see. I also have a summon, which will allow me to play an extra minion. Or, play on a base, all players ignore a base's ability. Um, I think, yeah, I think jam signal is going to be important. Alright. This means something. This is important. That's a line from Close Encounters, if you're interested, if you're interested in that. Alright, so... End my turn. Alright. So now... Um, we want to start uh, putting some other cards. So once again, um, I, don't know. Um, I want the other scout. Well, the other. Uh, maybe I don't have another one. Um, so you know what? I'm I'm gonna play this a little bit smarter. Let's take a strong card. Add one victory point to the Rhodes Plaza Mall, and then you summon to play an extra minion. All right. So what are we gonna play? Return a minion of power three or less to my owner's hand. Once so again, my opponent doesn't have any of these. Um, let's try Neophyte again. Neophyte, we'll send them to the other base. And then I will get a Mystic Studies, which will allow me to draw two cards. Um, I'm going to play it, because extra cards are good. Okay. And then... So, they have put Invisible Bicycle, choose a base, move any number of minions of power two or less from there to another base. Alright. So I think they might be doing a little Stratego on me. As they're looking to see where I'm going to take over a base, and then they're going to try to take it over before I can. So, let's see what we can do about that. Alright, so... Um... Entrantresses let me draw a card. Neophytes let me draw a card from the deck. Um, Chrono Mages allow me to play an extra action this turn. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. So... Okay, so now we've gone 11 to 16 on the first base. Okay, so, yeah, Chrono Mage allows me to play an extra, um, uh, minion, and so I'll play that onto the targets. Okay, now that I have extra, I have an extra turn. Oh, you know, I can play both Chrono Mages. I can get stuff onto, uh, um, you know, multiple bases. No, actually, I don't think they will allow me to do play a card more than once. So, I think they're going to give me an extra action. Okay, Crop Circles allows you to choose a base, return the, each minion on that base to their owner's hand. Oh, you gotta make your own fun sometimes. Uh, let's go ahead and play that onto the tar pits, which means all of these cards go onto our hands, including all of my opponents. So right now I'm the only one who has something on the field. And then, um, well, invasion, move a minion to another base. Um, I will choose the, um, I'll choose the one invader scout. And then I will move it to the tar pits. So, which was once so mighty is now completely and totally evacuated. I take that back. We immediately have a princess equipped with an heirloom. This card gives us minion one plus one power for each heirloom on it, and the card cannot be destroyed. Ah, princesses, meeting me with gems. All right. So. 
So let's get back to uh, strategic uh, one. Let's uh, play um, Enchantress onto the tar pits, which will allow me to draw an extra card. And then this will give me Mystic Studies will charge, let me draw two cards. Scry will let me search my deck for an action and reveal it to players. Um, place it into your hand and then shuffle your deck. And then Winds of Change will shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards and allow me to play an extra action. So I think, um, I don't know if that does that to everybody. I think it just does it to me. Okay, so let's do Scry. So what uh, what do I want to add to my turn? Terraforming portal abduction. Return a minion to its owner's hand. Play an extra minion. Play an extra action on each of your turns. Return a minion of power three or less to its owner's hand. After this base is scored, you can place this minion into your hand instead of discard pile. Beam up. Return a minion to its owner's hand. Um, what did I use that was really really powerful earlier? I think it was one of the uh, wizard cards. Um, I can choose Time Loop, which will let me, uh, play two additional actions. Um, Portal, Archmage, um, yeah, I think I only, whatever card I played, I think I only have one of it. So, I'm going to pick Time Loop. Okay, place it in my hand. Alright. Two or more cards onto my desk. Alright. So, Cat's Paw allows you to take control of a minion with a power of five or less until the end of turn. Um, which means that the two that this Enchantress has is now counts to their total amount of score. And now, Grumpiness, play on a minion, ongoing, this minion has minus two power. So, that's not good. Um, let's proceed. There goes the neighborhood. All right. We're fighting a pitched battle over just this one target. I wonder if it's worth it. All right. Zom Danny, thank you very much for following. How are you doing tonight? Maladim, Fade, Druidia. Oh, it looks like we had a raid. Um, Gartoon the Vile, thank you very much for following. Okay, Zom Danny is doing the raid. Thank you very much for um, bringing your audience to me. Um, Hot Dog Bong Water 420. Thank you very much for following. All right. Can't do a shout out for mobile. Oh, that's perfectly okay. Then. Thank you, everybody who's coming in from this uh, uh, stream. You guys are awesome. Um, so. For those of you who need to know who I am, I'm Brainy the RPG Cat. I'm a cat who is also a wizard, and I also love to play tabletop games like Paul Peterson's Smash Up, which is what we're playing right now. Thank you very much, Little Shrimpy, for following. Say, Little Shrimpy, pass the cocktails. Us. No, only kidding. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Now, what should I what should my next move be we're getting really close to closing out the tar pits um, okay so let's um, place a minion um, and now um, I think I need to well this is, this is free, at least. Okay, so... Entrantress into the tar pits. Allows me to draw a card. Draw an action, which... Allow, uh, time loop, which will allow me to play two extra actions. Alright, now I have an opportunity to play two extra actions. One allows me to draw two cards. And the other one will allow me to shuffle my hand into my deck and draw five cards. I think it's getting a little busy here. Let us economize. Alright. So 
So where are we gonna draw instead? Disintegrator, two disintegrators, three beam ups, beam ups, and collectors. Um. So I can play. I can still play actions this turn. Um. Place a minion of power three or less on the bottom of its owner's deck. A minion with a power of three or less, which I still haven't been able to see my opponent reproduce. So, well, so I'm going to think I'm going to need to use Beam Up, and let's Beam Up Griselda because she is the highest value card on this field at the moment. Alright, here comes Queen Fluffy and also Grumpiness. Play on a minion ongoing, this minion has minus two power. Alright. Hey, you want to see some cat videos? All right. Tommy Bot destroyed Invader on Base Roads Ma Mall Plaza using the Skillet. Wow. The Skillet is a mighty is a uh, mighty uh, power. All right. So, returning minions of power uh, three or less. Yeah, they still haven't produced something like that. Okay, so first things first, let's let's place um, a uh, let's place somebody on a base, and then let's follow that up by returning another minion to your owner's hand. Um, hmm. I don't think I can do that. I think I can just play the card. Oh, don't know. I, I had to switch to my action mode. That's what was going on. Okay, so beam up. Okay, see you later, Queen Fluffy. more cards. Being Fluffy comes back, gets the equipped card to hang in there. Um, this minion would be destroyed, move it to another base, and destroy this action. Okay. In the event that it could be destroyed. Um, so, let's keep, yeah, working the middle of uh, the Rhodes Plaza Mall. Alright. And then return a minion of power of three or less from Rose Paul, um, Plaza Mall to its owner's side. Okay, so let's do an action. I mean, it's frustrating that, you know, I have beam ups, but I don't think anything qualifies except for my own cards. Okay, so um, Chrono Mage. Well, no, because that's. I should have played, played that as a base, so yeah. My actions are not helping me at the moment. There is the princess again. Okay, so... One card got unequipped, which puts uh, Princess Fluffy onto the bottom side of the field. Alright. So, what we can do now... Um, choose a base to play this card to... Oh no, well, you know, playing extra actions actually isn't going to help me. Um, the Supreme Overlord, return a minion to its owner's hand. Okay, well, is it worth battling for the Tar Pits? Because I've already negated the special ability. Um, probably instead, let's uh, play it onto the Mothership, and let's kick out Queen Fluffy again. Achievement, like a boss, play the boss minion from each of your factions in the same turn. Alright. Disintegrators, still not helping me. Alright. There's Fluffy again. And there is the Heirloom again. Okay. So, as they, so they've actually managed to win the... the uh, tar pits at this point. So the tar pits are getting replaced by the tabletop. Winner draws three cards and then this card's two cards. Okay. Base the mothership is scoring. Alright. Tommy Bot has a total of 20 million powers, so finished in first place. Wow. Phew. Okay. Welcome back to your home, Devin. 
and Dret. So, yeah, I think I've been scuttled at this point, is that I've, all, I've lost two bases to some strategic uh, planning on Tommy Bot and his Cat and Princess army. All right. So... Okay, so let's scout. Once again, scout in the uh, center area. End our turn. Ooh, this one pulled me down. Move a minion from another base to here. I'm wishing for the one I love to find me today. Alright, so... Hmm, what to do? What to do? Still no minions of three or less, so my actions aren't really helping me here. Um... Let's start to dogpile. Okay, so another scout. Onto the field. So I am guaranteed to get all these cards back into my hand after the base is scored. Okay, I can shout out now. Who does this honor go to? This goes to, um, uh, Faye Druidia. Thank you very much for the raid. All right. Disintegrate. Rota Mage. Um. Yeah, that's the thing. I'd only hurt myself if I played Disintegrator cards at this point. Okay, now I got Terra uh, Forming. Search your base deck for a base. Swap it with a base in play. Shuffle the base deck. You can play an extra minion on a new base. Alright. Okay, Tommy Bot chose to shuffle cards back into his hand. So there's going to be a pretty finicky strategy when it comes to that. So, well, first things first, let's get uh, minions on the base. Um, collector, you go at the tabletop. All right. Hazar. And then, yeah, um. Let's search our base deck for a base. Um, let's go for the central brain, which gives every minion one power. And then I will put it over the Rose Plaza Mall and return both of my scouts to my hand. Oh no, actually, they stay here. It's just a base that changes. And, um... Now I should play Enchantress here. Allows me to draw one card. Okay, this gives me Archmage. You can play an extra action on each of your turns. That's any time that it still remains on the base. They've played Sleeping Beauty along with an Heirloom, which gets us really, really close to um, losing. But I'm going to play that Archmage. So now... Um, this, uh, zone is scorable, and it looks like I'm in the lead. So they're getting a little bit behind with what they're doing. Okay, actions. Um, once again, nothing to disintegrate. Um, portal. Um, reveal top five cards of your deck. Place any number of minions revealed into your hand. Return the other cards to the top of your deck in any order. Okay, let's do that. So out of five cards, I get to put all of the minion cards on here, which is really just a two. This one, uh -huh. place in my hand, and then this one, place that in my hand. Okay. Then return the other cards to the top of your deck. Let's say I have no choice. They're just going back to my deck. All right.
Mass enchantment, reveal the top card of each other player's deck. Play one revealed action as an extra action. Return unused cards to the top of your decks. Okay. Play it. We both get to look at the two cards on the top of our deck. They have Cat's Paw equipped, which allows them to take control of a minion with power five or less until the end of the turn. Um, unfortunately, nothing on their field qualifies. So, I'll just go ahead and uh, wax that one. Okay. I have won the central brain, which gives me four victory points. Tommy Bot currently has 12, while I have 8. Alright. So... so they're chose telling me to choose a card to play, which I don't think I have a qualifying action card. Alright. I have too many cards, I need to discard one. Let's discard the Disintegrator. This hasn't been useful here. Okay, so Invisible Bicycle. Yeah, has moved me down to the middle base. Alright. So let's get... The Chrono Mage will allow me to play extra actions. Um... They don't have any minions on the field, but I can use summon to play an extra minion. All right. And so who should I choose? Well, I can do Chrono Mage again, which will allow me to get an extra turn, uh, an extra action. Um, well, I don't know. The extra actions aren't really helping me right now. Okay, opponent's turn. They are equipping True Love's First Kiss, which moves them into another base. Okay, and then moving them to the tabletop. Alright. So, I think we got Supreme Overlord again. Um, anytime that I play it, I will have to move a minion to the owner's hand. Which is what I don't want to do because it's all of my cards are currently on here. Um, so let's do Neophyte. Reveal the top card. Unfortunately, it has to go back into my deck. And then now I can sit, consider doing an action. Um, let's scry. I certainly need actions for scrying. Um. Invasions will move a minion to another base. Okay, that seems like it would be useful. Put that in my hand. Okay. Well, a skillet has destroyed my neophyte. Alright. And here comes Queen Fluffy again. Why are all the cards on the princess and uh, cat decks so... So strong, so very strong. All right, well, unfortunately, my strategy really isn't gonna work because uh, um, if I move Princess Fluffy somewhere else, it's really just gonna bring that other area closer to the, get closer to being taken over. And I'm sure my opponent would have absolutely no qualms about that. Okay, let's try Neophyte again. Okay. Uh, Mystic Studies. Let's play that and draw two more cards. Alright. And then... Um, Abduction will allow me to return Queen Fluffy to their owner's hand. And then allow me to play another minion card. Which... Um, well, I think at this point, let's go ahead and let's use Supreme Overlord. And then let's return the Neophyte to our hand. Alright. This sounds like a good strategy so far. You have too many cards, choose two to discard. Okay, so... Um... Okay. Well... 
discard the Enchantress and also discard um, one Neophyte. Alright. There comes Fluffy again. Fluffy has the Heirloom. But currently gives it like six um, points. Um, first thing first. Um, Invaders will allow us to gain one victory point. Alright, so that gives us nine. And then, Time Loop will give us two extra actions, which is useful because I have a lot of action cards right now. Alright, so... Disintegration is not gonna work. Um, probe will allow me to look at another player's hand and choose a minion. Um, summon will allow me to play an extra minion. Well, that's useful. And then I will choose... Every, all of my cards are twos right now. Um, Neophyte is the only one that's not going to hurt the total. Alright. Place that card in my hand. And then... Let me see. Jam Signal, Probe, or Winds of Change. Um, let's probe. Look at the hand. Discard the princess. Draw two more cards. Direct to DVD sequel. Yeah. That allowed them to place a minion and then draw two cards. Alright, well. Dirty pool. Um... Time to keep them separated. Well, hang on a second. Um, we can place before that. Okay, Enchantress. Um, place here. Then draw a card. Now I have crop circles. Choose a base, return each minion on that base to its owner's hand. Okay, well, let's do that to the tabletop. And now my opponent doesn't have uh, cards on the field anymore. All right. Well, now Queen Fluffy, leaving, returning another Griselda card, places an heirloom from your discard pile to your hand. Okay, so they're doing what they can in order to try to complete my con uh, my conquest, but they're not going to win because all I need to do is place another level two here. Okay, well, actually... I have to remove somebody now. Okay. Now let's see what we can do here. Move a minion to another base. Bye bye, Griselda. Alright. So, as a discard, um, let's get rid of Winds of Change. Oh, jeez. They reshuffled. But that still leaves me the winner. Gives me two victory points. They get two victory points. But does that make them the winner of the game? No, okay, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So once you reach 15 points, then you've won the game. So... My wizardry has been beaten by cats. I don't know how I should feel about that. Alright. Let's play another local game. I have to know that I can beat the CPU before I can beat any human opponents. Alright. So their first draw is Killer Plants. Um, okay, so... I don't think I have the Princess's cards. I think I need to buy an expansion set for that. Um, let's uh, go with 
Well, let's go with the classic. Let's go with ninjas. All right. And then my second one will be pirates. Their second faction is also going to be ninjas. All right. Shinobi is... Before a base scores, you can play a minion there. You can only use one Shinobi ability per base. Um, first made after this base is scored, you can move this minion to another base instead of this. Okay, well, yeah. It's the same as the other one. Okay. Wholesale! Move any number of your minions to other bases. Before a base scores, you can play this card. Um... Shanghai allows you to move a player's being into another base. Okay, let's let's start with this. Okay, so well actually no, because well Oh no no, that's actually my opponent's ninja. Alright. I get confused uh, with that sometimes. Okay. Let's take you to the con. I mean <laughs> probably the worst possible uh, transport you could ever get. Currently six on the con. All right. And, um... Acolyte on your turn. If you have not yet played a minion, you can return this minion to your hand. And play an extra minion on your base. Okay. Let's put that here yep. for insurance. Okay. And then, let's see. Infiltration. Play on a base. Destroy an action that has been played there. Or ignore the base's ability. Well, no actions have been played on bases yet. Um, okay, so, I don't want to play either of those actions, but I will draw two more cards. Okay. They're using Tiger Assassin. Destroys a minion of power of three or less on this base. Alright. So I got Assassination. My first mate has been thrown to the tar pits. Um... Buccaneer, if the minion would be destroyed, move it to another base instead. That's a nasty guy. And then... Broadside, destroy all of one player's minions of power two or less on a base where you have a minion. Well, I don't have a minion. Well, let's see. Okay. This is disguise, move one or two minions to your base, play an equal number of extra minions there. And then return it shows a minion here. Okay, this looks like the card to play. Okay. Okay, select an action. Alright. Play a minion onto the base tar pits, alright. Base. Play on a base, ongoing a player minions. Okay, so I have something that will um, negate that. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that got taken out of my hand. Okay, play infiltrate on the base to a to destroy the action. Okay, that's how that's done. So this is ninja pirate robot zombies. This is ninja pirates and carnivorous plants. That's what this is. All right. All right. Look at the air. So there's a Venus flight yep. trap. Okay, well, first base is scored. 
They have won the con. I get no points because I didn't have any of my cards on, on the field. All right. We're replacing the con with the Cave of Shinies. After each time a minion is destroyed here, the owner gains one BP. All right. Time to start playing. Okay, nothing seems particularly helpful. Let's put Acolyte onto the field. And then we will, let me see. Giving plus one power to the end of turn would only be useful if I'm trying to capture the base. Powder K, destroy one of your minions and minions with equal or less power in the base. Um, full sail, move any number of your minions to other bases. Okay, nah, well, I'll just keep all this for now. I've got a deck loaded with action cards right now. Okay, Weeder. This minion has minus two power on the turn that you play it. Well, that means, you know, then it increases afterwards. Okay, so... Let's put another Acolyte. Um, let's use this. Uh, so... Nothing is equivalent to five, that's what the problem is. Um, hang on, before a base scores, play a minion there. No, I don't think I'm allowed to. Um, destroy all of one player's minions of power two or less on the base where you have a minion. That's not gonna work. Um, Move any number of minions to other bases. Okay, well, this is really what I'm going to have to do. Okay, full sail. Okay. Oh, any one of my minions to other bases. So, well, we're, we're abandoning any ship. It's like Solitaire Gwent Pokemon. I mean, it's pretty much its own game. Um, the best way to describe it would be like a deck builder um, combined with an area control. You pick two decks with two different factions on them, and then you try to take over one of these three zones. So whoever uh, uh, gets the most minions onto a zone will win the highest number on the card with your opponent being the first runner-up. And you have to make it up to 15 points in order to win. Alright. So, I have prohibited the opponent from taking over yeah. this zone because I moved all of my cards over up here. And so now I have an opportunity to uh, do another turn. So... Let's put the Pirate King onto this section. And then let's see what else we can, we, we can do. Um, okay, smoke bombs allow you to play on one of your minions. This minion is not affected by other players' actions. Um, destroy this card at the start of your turn. This minion is not affected by other players' actions. Well, let's do the smoke bomb and let's do it on the Pirate King. That guarantees that the Pirate King will be protected. So, the thing is, is that uh, once a zone clears, um, everybody who has a card on it is going to score a certain amount of points. So, something that you might want to try to do is you might want to try to be the only person on a zone and then use your cards in order to kick the opponent out so you're the only one who scores a victory point. Okay. So, I think I have an action card here. Um... Move up to two of, of your other minions of minions to other bases. So Jim <laughs> Lad. Oh two of my other other ones. Okay, well never mind then. Um 
Well, there's nothing to do, really, to do here except for claim the. Yeah. Claim the zone. And then. Hit a ninja before a base scores, play a minion there. Except I don't think I have a minion. Yeah. So. Since I have the most minions on that base, I score the uh, four points, whereas they score two points for being the first runner up. So now that base has been cleared and now the Temple of Goju is out. The Temple of Goju is gonna be a base where other people save. All right. Look at this right here. They've already taken most of the areas on this base. Let's put first mate here, so it won't be lost, but also sea stars will destroy minions of five or less, which these two water lilies count. Broadside will destroy all of one player's minions of powers two or less on the on the space where you have a minion, but my own minion is only the one that is the only one who counts. Same thing with cannon, I can destroy two minions with power two or less. Powder King, destroy one of your minions when the minions with equal or less power, which is not, not true, the barrel stronger. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to do seeing stars. Okay, let's gut these two um, smaller plants here. Yeah. Oops, well, see now. See, what happened there was they, they actually did the same stunt against me. Is that they reduced the total amount of this base to 15. And then they kicked my card off. Alright. Okay. Once again. Kill the other water lily. And then play a shinobi. So this card is one point away from scoring. So naturally, yeah, they're going to take the points. Oh, but they're going to use Tiger Assassin to destroy my minion. So yeah, that one's a wash. So they scored four points and I scored nothing. And now Tabletop is replacing the other zone. All right. So, I hope you're understanding the game by now. Ninja Master, allow me to uh, yeah. destroy a minion, so I'm gonna destroy this Acolyte. And then let's see what else can I do. No point in using that because you know the base is not about to score. All right. Mm -hmm. I could do something here, but I don't know if I want to uh, yeah. sacrifice the ninja master just yet. Play this on a minion, destroy any number of actions on an ongoing. This minion has minus four power. That seems powerful. Let's put it on the Ninja Master. All right. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. We can't play this on the opponent, I don't think. Here's a sprout. Destroy this card at the start of next turn. Search your deck for a minion of power three or less. And play it here as your extra minion. Alright. Saucy Wench will allow me to destroy a minion of power two or less. So that takes care of Sprout right here. Alright. Still allows me to play an action card. Infiltrate. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
We're in a pitched battle for just this one zone. Play my assassin, destroy the water lily. And then, let me see, 15, 16, 17. Um, hang on. Let's do swashbuckling. Everybody is going to go up by one. Does that make this score? Yes, it does. And then play Shinobi, because Shinobi will go onto the field when an area is about to score. So I have won the Temple of Goju. Gives me two, uh, two victory points. Um, all right. They're already getting close to 15. Probably just really they just need to score one more zone. It's a long road ahead. Um, okay, if I want to try to win, I need to go for the highest scoring base, which right now is the cemetery. And so actions are pointless because my opponent has no cards. In comes Water Lily again. Um, okay. Assassinate the Water Lily. It will die at the end of the turn. But then also play another first mate here. Alright. And they just play another one. So, no, I mean, well, they're not going to be able to do anything. Okay, Powder Keg will destroy one of my minions, but it will also destroy the Water Lily. I think I'm going to need to. So, the Buccaneer has made the ultimate sacrifice. Buccaneer will return, and it'll go to a different base. See, they're just trying to battle it out with me um, on any zone, because they know if they score one more point, they'll win. Um, Tossy Winch will destroy a minion of two or less. Alright, now... Play this, move two minions back onto the cemetery. Alright. All in all, not bad. Here comes the Sprout. Destroy this card at the start of your next turn, search your deck for a minion power three or less, and play it as an extra minion, then shuffle your deck. Okay. Well, I have my Tiger Assassin. That's immediately going to destroy this minion. Alright. Okay, nothing here is going to be helpful. Alright, so... Not going to play an action. Ooh, somebody has reduced my assassin to zero. What is this? This is... yeah, poison. Okay.
well. Name of faction. I choose ninja. Let's get you. Uh, let's just kick you off of this base for now, and then play. Well, just one strong card. Saucy winch. Okay, they were a gunner. So, we got the Ninja Master, who already destroyed one of my minions. Another equip who's gonna assassinate. Fearless isn't going to help me. And most of my other cards will only destroy smaller minions. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to save this. Severely harm one of my opponent's uh, minions. We'll put poison on Wee Meter. I don't know if that's redundant. That's gonna score. They're going to get the last point. Now we got a basic idea how to play. Let's try to see if we can find an online game. Um, create a public lobby or create a private lobby. As you can see, there's no other lobbies. Let us say my game stats and achievements. What else do we have? Just more games. Choose something else. Up store, I think, allows you to buy expansion packs. Um, I have no idea, you know. This music is kind of tense, yeah. Other than the title screen music, is probably the best music in this entire game. Okay, well, 
Since we're resigned to playing local, we're gonna play local. Alright. Let's go way out here. Let's pick tricksters. Okay, they're choosing kitty cats and pirates. And then... Tricksters and... Zombies. First three zones acclaim. The Cave of Shinies, the Central Brain, and the Tabletop. So... Gremlins, after this minion is destroyed, draw a card and each other player discards a random card. Okay, well that looks sounds very good to lead with. Let's put them on the cave of shinies. And then outbreak, play an extra minion on a base where you have no minions. Okay. We'll play it on the giant brain. Gnomes, uh Grave robbing allows you to place a card from your discard pile into your hand. Which is only the one right now. Let's get more gremlins into the Cave of Shinies. And then... Yeah, so I don't have anything that's in that card right now. Um... Play on a base. Ongoing, you can play extra minions here. Okay, let's do that on the Cave of Shinies. Ooh, they're getting close to uh, claiming the central brain. Okay. Grave digger. Um, allow me to. Oh, don't. Well, I guess not. Um, I was hoping to do that. Let's play that. I get a card from my discard pile into my hand. So this card was Outbreak. Play an extra minion on a base where you have no minions. Which means this first one that's up here. Another gremlin on top of the uh, Cave of Shinies. But the central brain has already been placed. Um, they win four points and I win two. Because I at least had two cards on it. Okay, that base is now going to be Tortuga. Right. <laughs> so, uh, during your turn, you can play this card from your discard pile as an extra minion. You can only use one of Tenacious Z each turn. All right. Overrun, play it on a base. Other players cannot play minions on this base and then destroy this action at the start of your turn. Um. Let's give it a try in Tortuga. And then... Tenacious Z. Yeah, you check it out. Alright. Muffin takes control of a minion at power 3 or less to land the turn. I think the expansion pack cards are a lot stronger than the base game cards. That might be a problem. If I ever play this again, maybe I should consider getting the expansion packs. I can only hope they're not too expensive. What is in my discard? Okay. Play an extra minion for my discard pile. Alright. Let's get... Um... Grave Robbing, Grave Digger. Places a minion from my discard pile into my hand. Okay, well... I'll choose Gnome. Okay, you can go... Onto this field. I'm waiting for how they're going to screw up my tactic of taking over the Cave of Shinies. Or maybe they're just going to take advantage of my greed. 
and not um, and take over every base except for the game of shinies. Shanghai allows you to move a player's ring into another base. All right. Here I only have actions. Ball crawl, search your deck for any number of cards with the same name and place them into your discard pile and then shuffle your deck. All right. So, leprechauns, walkers. Um, let's go with walkers. Because what would be a zombie deck be if you can summon from the discard pile? All right. Play any number of uh, bingins from the discard. Let the same name from the discard pile into your hand. Um, well, I don't think they're letting me play that because I already played an action this turn. But next time. All right. So, so, any number of minions from the same name. Take all of those walkers and then put them into my hand. Well, this puts all the walkers into my hand, but I can't play them. Let's take the brownie. Ongoing after another player plays a card that affects this minion. That player discards two random cards. Okay, let's give it a try. All right. Well, unfortunately, I have to share the key of a Chinese with them. Yeti. Okay, so new area is a con. Play this on the base. Name of faction, no, no kitty cats allowed. All right. Flame trap, play on the base. After the player plays with me, here, destroy it. Are they telling me to uh, discard that? Well, um, I think they gave me a choice of discarding it or returning it to my deck. <laughs> no one will allow me to destroy a minion with a power less than the number of minions you have here. And then. Shrouding Miss, during my turn I can play um, additional minions here. So let's take... Okay, well that's deck discard. Okay. I think this is Black the Path. Zombie Lord, play an extra minion with power two or less from my discard pile on each uh, base that has less than two minions. Okay. Okay. Remember all those gremlins?
Oh, actually, this isn't gonna work. Um, graveyard pile. Place a card from your discard into your hand. And they're coming to get you. On your turn, you can play a minion here from your discard pile. Alright. Let's take that onto this field. discard into my deck. And so there's just a couple of things I, that I lost here. Um, let's try Tadacia Z. Oh well, shuffle any number of cards. Technically all of my discard pile could go into my deck right now. Let's just grab all the good ones. Overrun. Um, they keep coming. Probably everything that I didn't use before. Um, okay. That looks good. Then I shall play... Well, okay. I think this is going to claim the zone. Okay. Place a minion from my discard pile into my hand. I will choose the gremlins. Alright. Choose a card to play. I think I still need to play a regular minion. Okay. Put the gremlin up here. Okay. <laughs> So I've won this and it's four points. But they still get three points for being the runner up, so. It's not great. Things are not great. So the score is currently 8 to 12. We need 15 points to win. <laughs> Alright. Play the gremlin. Um, tell me I've got a card that destroys two or less. Um, no, but I'll do grave robbing. So, what, was, what did the brownie do again? After another player plays a card that affects this minion, that player discards two random cards. Yeah, okay, that might be worth it. Okay, they keep coming. Play that to play an additional minion from my discard pile. Um, I thought that the uh, I thought that the king zombie was here, but I guess not. Um, what is just my highest point card? Grave digger. All right. All right. And what else can I put? I have two brownies. Um, 
But then that leaves me with two for actually no the zombie lord is here, so I'm gonna win this if I if I claim if I claim the, the zone. Alright. And turn. So I've won the four points. My opponent has won the two points. And that puts them at fourteen. The library is going to be replaced by the mall. Alright. Oh, you negated my gremlin. Um. Let's put a gnome on there. Finish. Um, let me see. Okay. This enchant will get rid of my enchantment. Let's play that. I'll destroy that card, get my points back. And then end my turn. Alright. Hey, look at this. Hissy fit, play on the base all going. Other players minions have minus one power. Alright. Leprechaun. After another player plays a minion here with less power than this mi minion's uh, power, destroy it, but uh, not before resolving its ability. <laughs> Alright. So... I think I have something that can destroy on a base. This, I think this enchant will work. Okay, let's get rid of Hissy Bit. Oh yeah, you're not reducing the total number of uh, points that I'm putting onto the field. Alright. What should I do now? Let's play the brownie. Uh, 14 out of 20 total points for that um, base. Um, let's do the mark of sleep. My other, my opponent can't play any actions this turn. All right. They were able to put somebody on the other field, but that's not going to be matter because I think I can win the total number of this. Now let's see. Oh, okay. Um, other minions play on a base. Other players cannot play minions on this base. Destroy this action of the start of your turn. I think this is what I need. prevents them from playing cards on their base, and so if I can beat them to 15, then I just win the game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but... Gravedigger, highest card, onto the tabletop. Then play a uh, minion from your discard pile into your hand. Um, who's, the strong, uh, who's the strongest guy here? Probably the brownie again. So if they were able to swarm that all the way up to 24, then they would have won before I did. Nope. Nope, the tabletop was claimed. I score the four points. My opponent scores the two points, which puts us both at 16. Is there an overtime here? I think there is. So I need to whatever I do, I need to make it good. Okay, Flame Trap, play on a base after another player plays a minion here, destroy it. Well, 
Um, hang on a second here. Okay, I don't know if any but things gonna help me here. Oh no, they're just asking me to discard. Okay. Base tabletop is finished scoring. I think I might have just headed them this uh Okay. They decided not to play anything. That's interesting. All right. So at this point, two of these bases have 24 points to win, and the one that I'm on just really has 23. So it's anybody's game at this point. two cards. Um, Okay, that's it. They claim the last few points, which means that they won. Pretty decisively, too, because I didn't have anything on that card. Alright. So, this has been the video game version of Smash Up. Um, I'm a little bit concerned, particularly when it comes to the game balance. You know, especially given the fact that the computer can play uh, cards from expansion sets that you don't own. So, this was a short, but it was a very simple episode. And also, you know, momentous, as it was the first episode that we ran on Facebook. So, thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you everybody for rating um, from uh, Babe Juidia's channel. You guys are awesome. So, thank you everybody uh, for tuning in. 
to bring the RPG cat. Yes, I, I, I've been streaming on Facebook this whole time. Well, thanks for having us as always, dude. Thank you very much for uh, being here and being a dedicated mod. Devin. So, um, once again, take a moment to talk about our sponsors. Tonight's stream is brought to you by W Energy Drink. Um, try W, the affordable and flavorful energy drink powder. Uh, follow the link in chat or go to w.gg and use the code Bring you send me for 10% off your online order. Also, stream loots. Um, subscribe to the channel, buy special trading cards. A dollar ninety-nine will get you a pack of three official Brady the RPG Cat trading cards. Um, uh, you can buy them and then redeem them so that you can use special effects or play games uh, during our chat. Also, consider leaving us a four ninety-nine subscription through uh, stream loots. Is that since we're streaming on multiple channels, we rely on 100% of the proceeds from stream modes going directly to us. So it really is the ideal choice that comes if you want to help support the channel. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, we're, if, for those of you who are watching on Twitch, we're going to do a raid now. Um, let's see, who would we like to visit? Um, I think I would like to pay a visit to... Um, Let's go over to, uh, to Razem. Jolly Jolly Jaw is on. Um, so is, um, oh, you know, R Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling is on. I think they're, they're just regularly doing their Rocky Mountain Rewind section on Sunday nights. But anyways, this gives you the rare opportunity to see some live pro wrestling um, on stream. So, thank you everybody for tuning in. I am going to be back. Um, well, um, actually, the thing is, I think I'm going to be coming back this coming Wednesday. That means I'm going to be taking Tuesday off. But this Wednesday, we're also going to be playing the game that everybody loves to see. We're going to be playing Baldur's Gate 3. So, thank you everybody once again for tuning in. Remember, B-R-A-N-Y means smart, and nothing is too hard if you use your head. Always be the change that you want to see in the world. Have a good night, everybody, and thank you very much for watching.